Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine, that's why I have this weird accent. And today I'm going to show you how to make portal effect from Doctor Strange movie. This is what I've got. I'm using Trapcode Particular plugin for this effect. If you don't have Trapcode Particular plugin, or if you want to have already made cool logo reveal with additional options like this, you can buy this After Effects project. It does not require to have Trapcode Particular plugin. It will work perfectly as you can see in this preview. It is also a great way to support this channel with more upcoming free tutorials like this. I'll be grateful for any support. Link is in description. And now we will create this portal effect. Also, I'm going to show you how to apply this effect to real life footage. Let's get started. Let's create new composition by clicking here. Okay, go to layer, new, solid. I'm gonna call it portal core. Click here and hold to choose ellipse tool. Let's draw some circle. Hold on shift to make it perfect. And now let's scroll down here and copy this path. Select it and go to edit, copy. Now let's go to Effect, Trap Code, Particular. Hold Alt on keyboard and click on this position XY. Then select this position XY and go to Edit, Paste. Let's make this animation about 18 frames long. Now let's type some expression. Loop out, open, close brackets, click anywhere. Now our particle emitter is going by this circle infinitely. Let's make some changes here. I set it to sphere, then here in direction I set it to directional. Direction spread I gonna set to 5, X rotation to minus 90. So let's make some animation here too. Click at the beginning, set it to minus 1 and minus 90. Then here change it to 0. And let's also make an expression. So press Alt on keyboard and type in loop out, open and close brackets. Excellent. Now let's change our velocity to 0, velocity random to 100 to 0 and velocity from motion to about 15. Here I set to 0, 0 and in this space let's make it 150. Excellent. Now let's change our particle look. Let's set it to 0.3. Sphere feather to 0, size to about 3, and size random 50. Let's also make changes to size over life. Let's delete some of these points. Just select them and press delete on keyboard. And draw something like this. Let's also increase particle per second. Let's set it to 15,000. Okay, now we see something. As you can see we have core animation. Let's also make uh, changes to physics. I set it to bounce, gravity to about 500, collision event, kill. We have cool animation, but it looks too stable, so let's make some changes. I press U on keyboard to see all my keyframes. And also I want to animate our particles per second as velocity from motion, set keyframe and life per second. Let's press U on keyboard. Now we see our keyframes and now let's animate. So about few frames I'm gonna set it to 30,000, velocity from motion to about 35 and life per second to about 0.4. Then like 20 frames later I'm going to copy these keyframes, go to edit, copy or Control c on keyboard and then go to edit, paste or Control v on keyboard to paste. So now we have this little splash here. Let's also make some floor to this scene. Go to layer, new, solid. I name it floor. Okay, now let's make this 3D by clicking here. Click R on keyboard and change rotation to minus 90. And let's drag by this arrow here below. Now let's go to physics and here at bounce we need to set it floor layer as floor. Now we can shut this layer off. Cool, now we have this cool animation. Let's duplicate this layer. Go to Edit, Duplicate or Ctrl D on keyboard. I'm gonna select this both layers. Press U on keyboard and move this layer above 
like this. And this splashy effect we are going to move here. And this one right here. Now it looks more unstable and we have our core. Now let's add some structure to this core. I'm going to select this layer below and go to edit duplicate. And here we are going to make some changes. Let's unclick this and change it to 750. Then velocity we are going to set it to 300. Velocity distribution set it to 5. Here we unclick this and set it to 20. Let's also rename this layer to portal structure. Let's shut these layers off so we could see only our portal structure. And let's make some changes to the particles. Unclick here and here let's set it to 0.2. Here let's set its size to 0. We don't need to see these particles. So let's go to physics and set it to air. Gravity is set to 1000 and here in air and in turbulence field we are going to affect position by 250. Ok, we can close here and here. Now let's look at our acceleration system. Let's set it to continuously, then particles per second let's set it to 350, life to 0.2 and size to about 3. Opacity is set it to 100 and size over life we need to draw this shape, something like this. It should look like particles shooting out. In opacity over life let's draw this shape. Let's also blend mode set it to add and color from main let's set it to 100. Ok, select this layer and press U on keyboard. Let's make this animation like this. And let's also duplicate this layer. So now we have these both layers which generate some sort of sparks. Now we can see what we have. Now let's copy our portal core, go to edit, duplicate. And let's call it portal outer, uncheck this and set it to 20,000. Velocity on this one we gonna set to 5600, velocity distribution to about 5 and velocity from motion I'm gonna set it to 20 and uncheck this one. Let's also make some changes here. Uncheck this one and go to about 0.7. Here is all good, but let's change this shape to like this. So now we have particles which shoot out. Let's also duplicate this layer. Let's select both of these layers and press U on keyboard. And go to about 9 frames. So now we have these both emitters. As you can see we have a pretty cool animation, but we need our particles to bounce off the floor. So let's duplicate this layer, go to edit, duplicate and call it portal bouncer. Let's also make some changes here, x rotation to minus 120. And now let's press U on keyboard and go to this last keyframe. Let's set it here to 0, then open here and type new expression. Let's type in wiggle, open brackets, 5 comma 200 and close brackets. Now we have this crazy animation like particles shooting around. Let's go to velocity and set it to 3000 and emitter size Z let's set it to 1000. Let's also make some changes to size over life. We need to draw this kind of shape. Excellent. Now let's go to physics and gravity let's set it to 1500 and here at collision event let's set it to bounce. Let's set it bounce to 14 and slide set it to 35. Now let's uh, move our portal bounce to about 4th frame. Excellent. Now we can see a result. Let's enable motion blur on all of these layers. And click here to activate it. Now it looks more natural. Let's go to portal outer and go to effect call correction curves. And here in alpha channel Let's make it more visible. Go to edit, copy and paste on other one. Edit, paste. Let's also add to portal bounce. Edit, paste. Excellent, we have a cool animation. At this point it looks more like snow and we want to have some sparks here. So first let's go to layer, new, solid and call it background and set it to black. 
Ok, it will help with color correction. Now go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And let's call it color correction. Go to edit, color correction, curves. In RGB channel let's make this slide S shape. Then go to red channel and let's drag this way up here and make this form here. Ok, now let's go to green channel. Here we make some S shape like this, little bit higher than RGB channel. Then finally go to blue channel and drag it way down here. And here let's drag it up like this. Now as you can see it looks more like sparks. Let's also add some glow. Type here glow. I'm gonna use simple glow and set it here to about 100. Radius to 500 and intensity to 2. Now we have some awesome glow. You can play it with this threshold to get results which you need. Let's also go to edit, duplicate. And here I'm gonna set it to 50 and intensity to 1. So let's see what we have. And now I'm gonna show you how to add it to the scene. So I drag my video here just above background layer. Now let's shut this color correction off and enable my video. Let's add some camera to the scene. Go to layer, new camera. Ok, now click here and hold and select orbit camera tool. Now we can change it as we need to match the scene. So once we've done it, we need to drag our video below of everything. Then select all of our layers, click here, select all and go to layer, precompose and name it portal. Ok, now let's open our portal scene, enable this color correction and enable motion blur and back to our comp with video and set it to add. I recommend to shoot the video with tripod without any complicated movements. And then you can add your portal to any of your scenes. If you are interested to support this channel, you can check out my portfolio on videohive.net. Link will be in description. Here I have a bunch of cool templates for After Effects. They all have video tutorials which explains how to use them. Basically, if you have a logo and want to have cool animation for it like this. Audio jungle. Or like this. Audio jungle. You can check my work and find for yourself cool looking animation. Also, I have templates for dynamic slideshows and promos. So if you have lots of videos and photos, you can just add your footage and get an awesome made video for you. Let's go! I hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.